there are a couple of things that make a good monologue, um, a good audition monologue, you know, uh, because what might work in a play or in the context of a film, when you pull that out to uh, use as an audition piece, might not work so well. You know, good monologues are about one thing. They have an arc to them. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, you start somewhere and you end somewhere else uh, within your experience of the piece. Um, you've got to really know who you're talking to, how to break down a previous circumstance. You've got to know how to create the spontaneity uh, of thought. And the tricky thing with monologue is you've got to be able to work off of whoever it is you're talking to, but, but there's nobody there. So you're doing homework on what you're getting from the other person. And these are all things that really good actors know how to do. And most actors, the majority of actors, especially those aren't trained, that don't have craft or technique, they're going to get up, they're going to stand up, and they're going to do a monologue. You know, they're going to talk for two minutes at something over here. And it's not truthful. There's no grounded reality there. And it's amateurish. You know, so really good monologues and actors that audition well with them because it is a, a technique you got to really master comes from knowing how to craft how to craft a previous circumstance how to craft an acting relationship and how to work out meanings and how to do actions all of those things that you're going to really only get from really good training